Hey everyone, and welcome to a foodie's guide to fasting. Um, I consider myself a foodie because I have lots of friends and family who like to partake and enjoy good food, and we do it often. And a faster because in 2019, after being overweight for the majority of my life, or what doctors love to call morbidly obese, I decided that it was time for me to take the weight off. Um, as I just said, I have been overweight for the majority of my life. I remember getting out of eighth grade and, you know, taking a physical fitness test and weighing like 198 pounds and being mortified, you know, it just was too much for me at that point. But of course, when I got into high school and, um, just all that whole awkward time, you know, it didn't take any time for the scales to get up and above 200 pounds. From there, you know, uh, people say that there's a weight that your body likes to stay at, that it fights to stay at. So for the duration of my high school career, even through college, I probably teetered between 235 pounds and 225 pounds. Like most people, I tried several diets. Uh, the one that I tried the most and the most consistently was Atkins. A lot of people may not be familiar with Atkins. You know, currently it's taken on some modification. Um, even though some people argue it's not the same, it's very similar to keto. Taking in a lot of protein. But the problem was, I didn't like meat that much. I'm a big bread eater. I love my Mexican food. I love Chinese food. I love my Southern fried everything. So, you know, being on that kind of diet plan was really torturous for me. I know that seems extreme, but I was missing my bread. Um, yeah, I did that through the most of my high school career, but my body really did fight to stay at that weight. Uh, fast forward to adulthood. You know, I was blessed to have my son and I also seen the heaviest weight that I had seen on the scale, which was 260 pounds. Um, I carried that weight and even over to postpartum, surprise, surprise, when I was able to lose weight, of course, my body got down to the comfortable 235 and it didn't really want to budge from there. Uh... As a result of me doing Atkins on and off for years, I became insulin re uh, resistant and had a lot of trouble just, you know, eating refined sugars, eating breads and stuff like that. No matter how much I would try to stay away from those foods, by default, I would come back to them. I wanted to enjoy my life. I wanted to enjoy the holidays. I wanted to enjoy just things that normal people were able to enjoy. And so for a while, I really did maintain my physical fitness, but in terms of diet, I was a mess. Um, and all that whole time, I really did just retain the weight, wasn't able to get it off. So again, fast forward to 2019, I had been looking around for a solution for how I could lose weight and still enjoy the foods that I wanted to enjoy. Uh, I had fasted on and off over the years for different reasons, for spiritual reasons. And I really started to get into researching intermittent fasting. Um, I had some familiarity with fasting, like I said. And so it just kind of seemed like a no brainer when I came across this information. Because of my history with fasting, you know, there is a gentleman on YouTube he has a channel by the name of OMAD Revolution, and OMAD stands for one meal a day. I was able to, you know, acclimate to that relatively quickly just from my history of fasting. But um, OMAD, uh, coupled with CICO, or what people call CICO, calories in and calories out, is really the thing that was ultimately responsible for me being able to take the weight out, off. At my heaviest, I weighed 260, like I said. When I started on my OMAT journey, I was weighing about 245 pounds. Currently today, I 
am about 170, 172 pounds on any given day, just depending on what's going on. I've been a little bit smaller than this, but again, I'm starting this channel again because I want to take off at least 18 pounds to get back, you know, to a comfortable weight or where I was. Um, I also want to start this channel because I've run into people, you know, that I've gone to school with, people that have just encountered me in work environments, and they remember me being considerably heavier than this and, you know, have asked me how I was able to um, get the weight off. And it's just a lot of information. You know, you try to lead people to the right locations. You try to lead them to the right spot. You encourage them, tell them that they can call you. But the truth of the matter is, it's just hard to keep up with. Everybody's weight loss journey is their own. And so in an effort to, you know, re-inspire myself and to get to a comfortable weight, and also to just share with people what I've learned through this journey, I decided to start this channel. Um, some of the benefits of OMAD, you know, and intermittent fasting, we'll get into that a little bit later because when I am not, um, maintaining a one meal a day principle, I definitely still am an intermittent faster. I usually keep a 16, eight window, but one of the benefits that I have found from intermittent fasting is being able to still eat the foods that you enjoy eating and not really depriving yourself. Just like with any diet program, there's gonna be times and things that you have to give up. But what I found to be super beneficial about intermittent fasting is the fact that if I want a burger, I can have a burger. You know, if I wanna have French fries, I can have fries. If I want a cookie, I can have a cookie or two sometimes. You know, just whatever fits within my eating window and whatever fits within my calorie deficit usually turns out pretty good. Um, one of the principles that I incorporated for myself, you know, in the past I had dieted and I would just set these expectations of losing an insane amount of weight in a very short amount of time. And so when I set out on this journey, I implied what I call the joy principle, which is just one year. I told myself that regardless of what happened, I was going to give myself a year to see real results and real progress and to be consistent no matter what happened. I'm 5'4 and a half because half still count when you're 5'4 and like I said, about 170 pounds currently. Um, over the last couple of months, you know, just with transitions in life, I think at my lightest, I was 154 and I would like to get back down to that weight. So I would say within eight months, I've probably gained just under 20 pounds. Um, so I would like to take that off and I would like to take you guys on the journey with me. Other than that, um, yeah, joy. Just one year. I gave myself one year to get the weight off. In the first year, I lost about 60 pounds. And then I lost the other 30 in maintenance. Um, that was a surprise to me. I wasn't expecting that to happen. But, you know, that's one of the good things about intermittent fasting. It's a lifestyle. Um, that was 2019. We're currently in 2022. And every time I embark on this journey... There's no stress, there's no anxiety. Yes, I know it's gonna require some discipline. I know it's gonna require giving some things up sometimes. But for the most part, like I said, if someone approaches you and tells you, hey, I've got a way of life that will allow you to eat the things that you want and exercise minimally, which was something I didn't believe, I could do and still take weight off, what do you really have to lose? Um, you know, it's been a good journey. I've enjoyed being able to eat what I want in order to get the results that I've been seeking. 
And also, it just has added to my life in a lot of different ways. I'm a lot healthier now. You know, I have a lot more energy. And I don't want to sell a lie. Yes, you do get to eat what you want, but having balance is important too. I still have cinnamon rolls. I still have ice cream, but I eat a lot more salads and I eat a lot more fruits and vegetables. So if you guys, you know, decide to come on this journey with me, some of the things that we will be talking about on this channel are the benefits of intermittent fasting, uh, beginning the OMAD program, what to expect, having realistic body expectations, because that was important for me too. Uh, one of the things that I did notice is that the heavier you start out, the faster that the, uh, you lose weight on this plan. Also, the more weight you lose, the longer that it takes for you to get the weight off. But I've been able to sustain it. You know, I've been able to enjoy holidays. I've been able to eat turkey and stuffing and whatever else I please. And with discipline, I've been able to get back on my plan. And I can say that after two years and counting, I've been able to keep the weight off. And that's the first for me. So on this channel, yes, we will talk about OMAD because that's my primary source of weight loss when I am in weight loss mode because that's beast mode for me. So OMAD is my way to go when I am in that mode. In maintenance mode, we will talk about intermittent fasting. We'll also talk about, you know, realistic expectations, as I said, and then um, eating for your BMI, what SECO is, and how to maintain the weight loss. So, yeah, I think that that's all I really have to share with you guys for today. So until the next video, one of the things that I would advise you do is get a scale. You're going to need a scale. And you can't be afraid of the scale. Do some research on your BMI and what you should really realistically be taking in for calories for your size. Um, I started off at about 1,800 calories and realized that that was too much for me. And then gradually stepped that down to 15 and realized that I wasn't creating a big enough deficit to lose weight. In my caloric deficit, I can maintain about 1,150 to, two th uh, to 1,200 calories and lose weight. When I am in OMAD mode, that's where I live. I maintain about 1,150 to 1,200 calories a day, closer to 1,150. When I'm maintaining, I eat between anywhere between 1,150 calories a day and 1,500 calories a day, 1,015, or excuse me, 1,500, and I still don't gain weight. It's been a good plan for me. So if you want to take this journey with me, I would love to take you along and get some feedback and just share some tips about how I, after all those years, was just able to conquer the weight loss demon. And um, yeah, let's get started.